will probably 100% regret making this video, but I need to speak my piece because I am so tired of the discourse on this, and I am sure anyone in the Beatles fandom probably is too. The cancelization of John Lennon, like, I swear, it's like every other week at this point, like, fun fact, I have been in the online Beatles fan spaces since 1993. Yeah, yeah, I've been here a long fucking time. I have seen some shit. I will admit, this has always been a thing that has come up from time to time. It's just become a far more rapid cycle at this point. Like, it used to be like once every year, maybe two, it would come up and, I mean, people would have mixed feelings about it. I mean, for those who missed the memo, although I don't know how the hell you could have at this point because people don't shut the fuck up about it for two damn seconds anymore. Yeah, yeah, John hit his wife, like, a time. Sorry, I don't agree with it either. It was bad, but it still happened. I don't know what to tell you. So, <laughs> people fucking run with this. Somewhere around, I don't know, 2015, I want to say, is where I started noticing a shift where it was maybe every six months we started the hate train rolling again. 2020-ish came to be about every, like, Two months we're seeing it all over again. Fast forward to today, I don't think there is a single damn day that do that goes by that I don't see somebody bitching about this and how they just morally couldn't possibly support John Lennon because, oh, monster. And I'm like, deep breaths, deep breaths. You can both admit that what he did was wrong and still enjoy his art. <laughs> like, both things can be true. Holy shit. And now people have extended this a step further into dragging Ringo's name into the fray because why does nobody talk about the fact that Ringo did the same thing? And Ringo did it worse. He did it to both his wives. Uh-huh. Again, it was bad. And it happened. You being mad about it doesn't change that it happened. He also went to rehab and turned his whole fucking life around. It doesn't happen anymore. By the time John died, he had also turned over a new leaf. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, calm the fuck down. <laughs> it's not going to change anything by you virtue signaling that I can't possibly support this person because of their actions. Like, okay, you know what? Not everybody is the level of, like, fucking Harvey Weinstein. You don't need to cancel every single celebrity for every shitty thing they ever did. Certain things, yeah, they're a lot higher on the Richter scale of bad than others. Eric Clapton, okay, you know what? I will hand you Eric Clapton. Like, we, we can all agree he was and continues to be a piece of shit. But, for the most part, like, 90% of the people that they drag the names through the mud of because they did a problem th a problematic thing at some point in time in their life fucking ever, oh my god, it is not that deep, yo. It is not that deep. It is not worth getting your panties in a bunch and feeling the need to yell about it every single fucking day. It is so tiring. <laughs> like... I, I feel like this phenomenon happens because of social media working the way that it does, that now there is a constant and steady stream of new fans finding their way into the fandom spaces, just learning of the thing for the first time, now they're outraged, now they feel the need to do their thing. And on and on it goes. I just, a lot of times, I bite my tongue, and I just sit back, basically with my invisible popcorn, and just watch the flames fly, because what else can you do? But other times, I feel like being a chaotic little demon, and adding fuel to the fire like I did this time, and flat out said, you know what, some of us just don't care. <laughs> like, you know what, at this point, some of us have just reached the point of critical mass where we know, trust me, we know, we all know. Stop. 
It doesn't need to be like this. Like, I'm sorry that your life is so devoid of actual drama and actual problems in your real life that you need to make problems out of things that happened like 50 years ago. But this does not actually affect anyone today. Whether or not you are a fan of this person that did a bad thing once upon a time. Sorry. Sorry. Get labeled an apologist for that. Oh, damn. Oh, look, look at me just fucking crying for, for fucking ever over here b because I got called a name. Mm. Mm. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh, look at the people who blocked me. I just don't give a shit. And neither do a lot of people at this point. We're so over the cancel culture thing. Just, mm. Like, wake me up when there's somebody who is actively, actually being a monster. I will probably be on the same page as you, but until when and if you find another one of those, Eric Clapton aside, we, we know about Clapton, we, we all agree about Clapton. Like, it's not worth it. It is not worth getting yourself mad over this. It just isn't. And I, it's, like, really disturbing. You can't even, like, type John Lennon's name into Google anymore without, like, the Google autocomplete thing pulling up, like, John Lennon is a terrible person. It's like, oh my god, like, can we not? And oh my god, he was a hypocrite because he did that and he also wrote Imagine. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. Okay. So, it is literally the dumbest of dumb shit. And I'm at the point of just, I, I am not even touching it anymore. Beyond this. Beyond today. Beyond this. It's just, trust me, we know. We know. How could anyone not know when you people do not stop with this ever? As if it's going to change anything. As if it's going to change anyone's mind who is already a fan. Because trust me, if they're a fan, they know. We know. Like, we already fucking know. You're not teaching us anything new. <laughs> it just cracks me up how butthurt they will get. Nobody is denying that these events happen. Because that's always their argument, is that, well, you, you can't just apologize for it and sweep it under the rug like it didn't happen. It's like, again, nobody said those events didn't happen. But at the same time, they don't need to be at the forefront of our consciousness 24 fucking 7. Like, you can still enjoy the man's work. You can. You really can. If that's a deal breaker for you, then get out of the fan spaces and stop ruining it for everyone else. I just, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you expect out of people. <laughs> I think they just want people to be mad with them at this point. It's not like he's here where he can apologize for his past actions. I literally saw somebody just yesterday where Ringo's name got drawn into it. His day of reckoning is coming. It's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Like, trust. He himself was the first one to admit publicly he did these things and was also horrified by his actions. That's why he got help. That's why he has made such a big deal out of trying to promote sobriety. of <laughs> The irony is I'm drinking booze while doing this. But anyway, so just... He has tried so hard to make everything better. You can't undo the past. That is a fact. I will grant you that is a fact. Can't undo past actions. But you know what you can do? You can do better in the future, which he has. Shut up. Like, frankly, same thing with John. He repented for his sins, you know? Just drop it. It's not that deep. It's not <laughs> as important as you think it is. It's just not. And I'm sure I'm gonna get people mad at me for this. I'm sure of it. I don't care. You can be mad. You can unsub. I don't care. Go nuts. Like, it doesn't change the fact that <laughs> I'm still going to enjoy his music either way. So, and so are pretty much everybody else with more than two brain cells to rub together who realize there is more to this fandom than this one micro dot on the map of things that people have basically turned into a meme at this point. I don't know if this was the work of Reddit that did this one. I don't know. I truly don't know. Maybe that was where the whole John beat the wife thing like came from that's written all stupid, spelled and everything. You know the meme. You've seen it. You know you've seen it. Don't pretend like you haven't. 
but yeah, ever since that, ever since that meme really took off, it's like it's been a non-stop onslaught of this. It's like right up there with like the ridiculousness of the the Beatles wrote you can leave a dog in a hot car. That never happened, but people made a meme out of it to the point where I hear about it almost as often as the John thing that really did. Like it's the dumbest crap. It's truly the dumbest crap. But anyway, I am in that very annoying generation where I'm not a boomer, but I'm not one of the younger fans. I'm like smack dab in between the two. So I'm seeing both sides of this. I'm seeing the kids who feel the need to pump this shit out daily. I'm seeing the boomers who are just so fucking sickened by all of it that they want no part of it and won't even interact with them. I'm halfway in between. <laughs> so I'm just like, I don't give a shit one way or the other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm so annoyed by it. I finally have to say a thing because it's like reaching critical mass breaking point of where it's like, <sighs> somebody needs to just say what all needs to be said. They do. If that person is me, so be it. But <laughs> it's just like, no one's trying to claim the man was perfect. The man himself didn't claim he was perfect. No one is saying that. No one is excusing the actions. We just are also choosing to, you know, move on with our lives. Yeah, we know the fact. We also are still a fan and are going to live our life. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> it is the dumbest thing. And yet they get so mad over it when you point that out.